Anyway, we're going to talk about zone offense. Let's get five uh, people out here. Let's get a point guard. With this zone offense, there's basically, you can start however you want. I like to start out of a 2-1-2 two -two set. So we'll take our guard up high. Why don't we put the guard on the right side? Another guard here. Let's take our post here. We'll start out of a 2-1-2 two -two set. We're going to define people. We're going to have three people that will play on the perimeter. One person will be playing on the baseline. And one person will be a designated flasher. Now we like the whole idea of designating a flasher because if you designate the flasher, they're more likely, the other players are more likely to look for them. Okay, so, and I like this better than just flashing somebody from, from a natural spot. Because if, if you just play high-low and you just flash somebody low to high, zones can easily make that match. So we're going to, one of the things Harry didn't talk about, the key to this offense working is going from three out to four out, then back to three out. So he goes from three out to four out, back to three out, and that's what causes it, the zone to make many decisions. Okay, the, the second reason this works, let's just uh, play with some positions first. When we, get in, when we end up, we're going to have the center beneath the defense, and they're going to go ball side, side to side. So you would be over here right now. Okay? And we want them beneath the defense to where these low people are having to start taking a step back. So you get horizontal and vertical stretching of the defense. That's what's really going to help us. We want to get the ball in this area. Most defenses, if you get the ball in the center of the court, we're going to have a real advantage against the zone. Okay? Who would be our flasher? Who's a flasher? Okay? One of the reasons, another reason we like to run this, we've had a great deal of success, we like our point guard to be a flasher. Your flasher is a person that can make plays. And I like this because I could have that person make a pass, cut through, and then assume a flashing position. Okay, so now you're going to just step right back up here, fill, and that's fine, cut through. Now if you can't catch the ball here, you can step out, fill a spot over here. Whoops, okay, you filled a spot, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so I like that because we can, we can start the offense and make our point guard the flasher. Okay, so the flasher is going to be anybody who's your best decision maker. And on our team we have three. We have a point guard who's very good, we have a two guard that's very good, and we have a four man that's, we have two four men that are very good at it. Okay, and we'll change the flasher at timeouts. So you can't just guess which person's going to be in there. Okay, so that's one of the things I like about this offense. So let's get back in our original set. To begin the offense, let's get the center up. We're going to start with a strong side wave or a weak side wave. We can do either way. Let's say we, we go through this way. When we do that, we're going to wave people through, stop there, step out. So now we are now at five out. So basically when you pass the ball, you're going to pass the ball and you're going to leave a spot and fill a spot. Okay, and we want you to cut through this area right in here. If you're not the flasher, you can still look for the ball, but you can't hang out there. If you're the flasher, the thing that changes it is that you have two seconds to work for the ball in there. So you're going to be there a little bit longer. Things we don't want you to do. Let's go back here. We don't want you to interchange. So pass here, interchange. That's a useless, that's useless against the zone defense. That's easy to guard. Okay, so you cut through, fill a spot. And she can fill any spot she wants that's, that's open. Okay, you pass. Okay, now you're going to flash. And then once the center has touched the ball, she's going to assume her position. 
Okay? And she's an important person. Okay? There's a lot of stuff that can happen beneath this defense. Okay? Let's go. Who's our flasher now? Okay. Pass, cut. Okay, Phil. Pass, cut. Okay. Let's move. Let's move. Who's our flasher? Who's our flasher? Who's our flasher? Okay, get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Okay, now stop, stop. Now let's talk about this. What would be a good thing for you to do? No, you know Liz is going to flash, right? You have the ball right here. Is that going to be a good passing angle? Okay, so use your dribble to space. Look for her in the air. Now, if she can't catch the ball there, what are we right now in terms of three out? Are we three out or four out? We're three out. Okay, if she can't catch the ball there, She's going to pop out, and now we are four out, okay? So now you're going to pass. Now, here's a situation right here. She has, a, she has to read the floor. Your job is to pass, find an open spot. Now, are there any open spots on that area? There's no open spots on that area, so you don't have to just cut through here. You can just fade. Okay? Now when I get into screening, that is an opportunity where we will take this person behind the defense and screen that action. Okay? If you want to do that at any time, you can do that. Okay? Does that make sense to everybody? Why we didn't cut through and fill because there's already there, we can just flare. Okay? This team runs this so they have the idea. Okay, so that's the basics. You pass, you catch, you fill a spot. Let's go a little bit longer and let's get the, the flasher in there, okay? Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, now, that's good. Now let's talk about what the flasher's gonna do. Let's say you catch the ball, let's say you've cut through, and you catch the ball, yeah, just, just cut, you catch it right there, a little bit higher. Okay, what are your looks? Your looks are your buddy inside who should be stepping in and sealing, and you're looking opposite or you're looking to make a play. Our four man, this gets, they get a lot of one-on-one -on -one opportunities in here. It's really a good thing, okay? Does that all make sense to you guys? Any questions with the basics so far? I've had, I've had a lot of people ask me what our zone offense is. We don't get zone very much, and they want me to write it down. I, it's hard to write down. It's a concept more than pattern. Those two options to seal and to pick and just to flash. That's the two right. options they have right now. Just right. And, and what we'll do is, if we're just starting, we're just going to make them, we're not going to let them screen because they'll start edging up too much, okay? Okay, let's go, um, let's go some more, and then let's try to get it to the baseline person. Let's get it to the baseline person now. Just pass, cut, fill. Here we go. Good. Good. Let's get it to the baseline. Good. Okay. Good. Now you see what happens when it goes to the baseline. Whenever it goes to the baseline, the flasher's diving down. Okay. Okay, now let's say we get it to the, let's say the flasher cuts in, she's not open, and then you're going to assume, I want you to step out on top, okay? Step out on top and then get it out on top, okay? Here we go, flash, okay, stay, stay, good, now step out, good, good, good. Okay, stop, now let's just instant replay what you just did. Instant replay what you just did, instant replay what you just did. What's your name? Stephanie just did a very good thing with spacing. Okay, let's just instant replay what you did. Okay, now Stephanie didn't know you were going to step out. So you were starting to come here, and then once you saw that she was stepping out, what did you instantly do? You spaced. Okay, that's, that's, you can tell they've run it because that's something that they're already been trained to do, okay? So if, if the flasher steps out, the people around her need to keep spacing, okay? Let's go start over and let's go with a weak side, uh, weak side wave. Yes? Okay, instant replay what you just did. Good. 
Good? Okay, so they just went, basically when the flasher can't catch it on a two count, we're going to have them step to the top. Okay, right now. Okay? Now, have you guys been taught to step anywhere else? Okay, That's, we'll, 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 we'll work on the next thing. Okay, now let's go weak side, weak side. So dribble through this side, run her through. You step out, pass, cut, fill. Okay, good, good, good. All right, get below, get below, stay below. Okay, here we go. Keep playing, keep playing, keep playing, keep playing, keep playing, keep playing. Good, good. She's not open. Good. Spacing. Keep spacing. Good. Who's my flasher? Who's the flasher? Okay, good. Good. Okay, stop. Now, there's my flasher, right? There's my flasher right now. Okay? Now, let's watch what happens right here. Go. Look. Fill. Okay. Reverse it. Okay? Now, right here. Right here. This is something we allow that Harry started thinking about last year that he's starting to do. When our flasher steps out to the wing, rather than just always going to cut in there, look to flare, and then step in there. Okay? So when we step our flasher on top, they're going to be a reverse person. When we step our flasher on the wing, they're going to pin screen in. We're going to look to skip it back, or they're going to flash in the middle. That's good action there, okay? Let's go. Let's uh, start again and play to infinity. You guys learned that top concept last year, I believe. Just keep playing. Keep playing. Good. Good. Spacing. Good. Nice. That's good. Cut through. Good. Good. Okay, good. Good. Wait, wait. Okay, that's good. That's nice. That's good. Okay, now let's go over that. Let's, let's go over just something. I, I just have one criticism to make of your flashing. Okay? Here's a criticism that I see. I like to watch them for a while and watch tendencies. Okay, your name is Liz, right? Okay, Liz tends to catch the ball, like that last time she caught it, and three times within the possession here, she's caught it from a side and gone back the same side without ever being a threat to attack the basket. That will make you a better player. Okay, so your, sh your look should be right here. Catch it right here, make a play, look down, look opposite before you're swinging it back unless it's a sure thing, okay? Let's make a different, let's have a, who else is a flasher on your team? Stephanie, Stephanie you're a flasher now, okay? Here we go. Good, good cut, good cut. Good. Nice. Okay, good. Good. Okay, look to screen in. Look to screen in. Swing it. Swing it. Stay. Now screen in. Screen in, Stephanie. Screen in. Flare. Step. Good. Nice. That's good. Okay, look to come right up the gut. Good. Good. Okay, now let's go over that. Instant replay this, okay? Here you see... Stephanie, you could see Stephanie starting to, you were right in this spot here. You did a nice thing. They know that Stephanie wants to flash in this area. So what can you do to help if it's a two guard front? Dribble off, get that person occupied, you step in there. Now if Stephanie can't get it there, she's popping out, what are we now again? Four out and we've made them make decisions. We've made them make decisions, okay? That's pretty good. Let's add defense and let's see how we do. Okay, the only rule I've given you in terms of screening is if we step, if the flasher steps out to the wing, when you pass it, look to screen in the top person and then flash. That's the only rule that's different. Okay? Here we go.
Good, good. Good, nice. There it is. Look, 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 look. Spacing, good. Okay. Now, sometimes you guys need to cut off your cuts and just get out. You guys are going, you're going through there, just jogging through. Jog your first couple steps, look for the ball, and then get out. Look for the ball and then get out. Right now, you guys are very predictable with your passing. It's like this. Okay, everybody knows what you're doing, okay? So, one thing Coach Lickleitner, Leiter, what's his name, Coach, is that right? I remembered him when he went to the Sweet 16 when they had a bad season, I forgot about him. But he had a great saying, when he had great players, he was really smart, he's smart all the time, but he was really smart, and he said, players need to have an act. And right now, you guys have no act, okay? And that's typical of women. Okay, they're trying to do everything perfect. Expand your game. The prayer of Jabez. Do you know what that is? Expand your territory. Expand your game. Okay, that's my interpretation. Here we go. Okay. Nice, nice. That's good. That's good. Good. Yeah, that was good. That was a nice idea. Nice idea. Nice pass. That was very good. That was nice. That was nice. Now see, I like coaching like this against the zone because what happens is you can't scout it. You can't scout it. And we, we, had, or we had Jerry Finkbeiner come and speak at our clinic because he plays in our league and he zones. And I, I spent a lot of time just watching his zone, zone defense and this year he zoned us, uh, I'd say 10% of the time. And he's a zone coach. They, 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 we don't get zoned because this is very hard to play any type of 2-3 zone against. The only thing this doesn't work against is a 1-3-1. One, one. It doesn't work against a 1-3-1. One, one. If we're playing against a 1-3-1, one, one, we go 4-C and we keep our people stationary. Against a matchup, this is very good because you're constantly going three out to four out and there's a lot of decisions to be made. Okay, let's play again. Stay below, good, good. Good, good, nice. Swing it, good, that's good. Oh, stop, stop, freeze, 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 freeze. Instant replay right there. Okay, when you guys catch, you need to find the basket, right there. This is what situation we had, right here. Right? Am I right or wrong? Okay, so what's the moral of the story? Look at the rim and see everything around you. Because we just had a situation. If we would have gone, if you would have done this, if your act would have been this, what would she have done? Okay, now we're going here. Now what's happening? They are in a world of hurt. Right? Okay, here we go. Let's play. Good, good, good. Okay, screen in. Screen in somebody on top. Okay, screen in somebody on top. Okay, stop. Now let's instant replay that. Go, go from the skip. Okay, everybody go with you where when the ball is right there. Okay, now, where were you at? Okay, that's fine. Okay, go through. Screen in right here. Now, what should you do to screen ins? What could you do to that? Dribble at it. Dribble at it. Okay, dribble at it. Okay, now, what's, who are you reading right now? Read that back person. Okay, you keep spacing. Now, we go here. Now, what are you going to do, Liz? Watch. Who's going to take you right now? Well, that's great. Who should you... See, what, what you were doing is you were kind of following the ball. Yeah. Go turn it and seal her. 
you stay below. Now who have we put in trouble? What's going to happen right now? What are you starting to do? She's starting to edge up. Start to be ready because you're ready for a power move. Okay, that's the situation you guys just had. Okay? Here we go, let's play. Good, good. Nice, good. Okay, nice. Do you guys want to play defense all the time? I guess so. Okay, let's go. Is that your defensive team coach? Where's Coach Brooks? Okay, here we go, let's play. Nice, good. We're good, good screen in, good. Nice, nice, good. That was excellent. You all right? That was excellent. I love the baseline drift. Then we got the throw up. And what you're going to start to see, what you start to see is the defense starts running at the players. Now you can make plays. Okay? Very nice. Let's change the flasher now. Okay? Now let's... Do you have... Can you play on the perimeter? Okay. So we're going to change things. We're going to make it look different. Liz, you're now on the baseline. Okay? Liz is now on the baseline. Can you shoot threes, Liz, this year? I hope you've expanded your game. Because they're going to play you for the drive this year. That's the scouting report I heard. Okay? Here we go. Let's go. Play. Okay, get active, Liz. Get active. Below the defense. Beneath the defense. Play, 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 play. Nothing. Good, 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 good. Nice kick out. Good. Okay. Keep playing, keep playing, keep playing. Good. Good. Nice. That's nice. Okay. Now, what did you start to see? All of a sudden, I could hear it because they know each other. What are they saying about the baseline now? What are they saying? I heard it three times. Watch Liz. Watch Liz. Watch Liz. And as they're doing that, what's happening to the back line? They're sinking and they're sinking. So as this back line sinks back, what happens to the middle? It opens up. Okay, now let's take, who's a good three-point shooter? Okay, I want, I want the best three-point shooter to go to the baseline now. You're going to be on the baseline. And you, your option now is, when you run the baseline, you can go out and you can step out to three. So by allowing you to do that, what are we now going to say we can do? We can go three out, four out, to five out. Okay, and that'll change the look a little bit. Okay, who's the flasher? Liz, you're going back to being a flasher. Okay? You guys can start however you want. Who's going to be the three-point shooter? Okay, just stay below the defense and just you can go anywhere you want in the corners, okay? Here we go. Good. Good. Spacing. Spacing. Good. Nice. Good. Good screen in. Good flash. Good. Nice. Spacing. Spacing. Good. That's nice. Okay, now let's, let's utilize our dribble a little bit more, ladies. When we have three people on this side, and your name is Cat, right? Cat wants to, if we have two people over here and there's two people guarding us, okay? Let's say the top person's right here. Let's say your cat too, right? We have two cats. That's cat squared. Okay, so now we, we have two people here. Let's say we have another person below me. Okay, and we have cat wanting to step out. So what's going to happen if I do this? Okay, now what's going to happen now? 
Take another dribble up. Now throw back. What have we just done? Yeah, we've opened this middle up, and what, who's the flasher now? Where's Liz? What's happening, Liz? You have a big gap to operate with in here, okay? And we're just, we're opening the territory. Liz is a good player. So by putting a three-point shooter on the baseline, we're starting to spread that back line out, so now we have a lot of space for Liz to operate inside, okay? Good. Dribble up, dribble up, dribble up, good. Good, dive, dive. Stop, stop. Now right here, let's go with this. And what do you do when she catches it on the baseline? Yeah, look at all the area right here, okay? Now I would like this dribble up to be, right now our dribble ups are like this. It's kind of like you're passing, okay? Dribble up with a purpose. If I dribble up and penetrate, what's going to happen? They're going to have to guard you. If I dribble up like this, they don't have to guard you. So dribble up with penetration attacking, and now we might create more space. Our goal is to get you guarding this, have our center start to lean this way, and have you operating with whatever's remaining with the center exposed. Okay, that's our goal, okay? Here we go. Good. Spacing, use your dribble. Use your dribble. Good. Nice. Use your dribble. Nice. Good. Good. Okay, now let's see if we can use our dribble to get a better shot, okay? Here we go, play. How many pass fakes? Okay, here's the deal. We're going to play this possession, and you have three line drills. You're starting with three line drills. Every pass fake you make, we take away a line drill. Okay? Here we go, play. Good. Nice. That was very nice, very nice. Okay? Did we get three pass fakes? Yeah. Okay? Okay. You guys were up early, weren't you? Okay, let's go again. Try to, now let's try to get somewhere in the middle between being predictable now and making pass fakes. Let's have an act, okay? So go somewhere in the middle. Let's go with our original baseline person. Okay, and let's play. And then we're going to add the final thing here in just a second. Nice cut. Move the ball. Good. Very nice. Play again. Play again. Now, Liz, the other threat, the other thing is don't be don't be unselfish too much. Okay, when you catch it in here, you had a jump shot from right here. And you passed it up, okay? Here we go. Nice, good. Good for it, good, nice. Nice. Good. Nice, stay with it, stay with it, keep playing. Nice. Okay, that's very nice, very nice. Let's give him a hand. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to change a little bit, okay? Here's what we're going to change now. The baseline person, rather than follow the ball, okay, you're going to stay opposite the ball at some point. So at some point, you're going to stay opposite the ball, not follow the ball, 
and come up behind the bottom person and do this. Saying, I got this person screened in and what do you think should happen behind you if you're doing that for somebody? What do you think a smart person would do? Get behind her, especially a good shooter. Aaron Parker should not be there. Okay? Aaron should not be there. Aaron should probably be the screener. But we need a good three-point shooter behind her. Okay? And then what's going to happen at that point? When they skip it this way with the sport, that could happen, which that wouldn't be a bad thing either, because how many are left to guard the top? One person. One person's left to guard the top. So good things are going to happen for Liz now. Okay? If this person comes out, what are you going to do? You're going to run to the next person and seal her in the lane, and now you're going to have a power move. Okay? Now be discreet. Okay? There we go. Play. Good. Scribble it up. Good. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, for stay, stay. There we go. Good. 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 Stop. That was good. That's good. That's the right idea. Now we gotta work together. Here we go. Play. Nice. That's good. Take it away from her. Take it away. Take it away. Here we go. Get in the gaps. Get in the gaps. Here we go. Play. Nice fake. Take it away. Take it away. Take it away. Take it away. Good. Okay, good. Nice. Okay, play again. Okay, whichever, whenever you see the low post person not following the ball, take it away and look to throw back because she's going to give the support of a screen. Okay? Here we go. Take it away. Take it away. Take it away. Good. Good. Get the next person. Good. Good job. Okay. So that's the idea of screening in on the back side. Okay. So you can just have that low post person just stay. Let's try it one more time. See if we can get, I want to see if we can get a power move out of this. Okay. That's what I'd like to get. Look inside. Look in the flash. Good, good. Good. Okay, stop. Now, no, 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 no. Let's talk about this. Okay? You're trying to do this, and what's this person doing? She's really cheating. Okay? So what's open? Just flash right here and take on that person. Look to get the ball. If they're cheating over the top, just look to flash, okay? Liz, you still, right now, you are a um, single threat person when you catch it in the high post right now. What threat would that be? Passing. You have to look at the basket. This person who's a flasher needs to be able to make scoring plays right here, okay? You need to look at the basket right now. Because once that happens, once you start scoring there, everything will change for this team. Okay? Dribble up, dribble up. Good. Nice pass. Look at the basket. Good. Here we go. Throw away from the defense. Here we go. Play. Last time. Nice look. Nice. Good. Okay, not bad. Let's give him a hand. Okay, you guys are done. Okay, so, so basically the, the rules, they're in your notebook, the rules. That's the concept. It's all a conceptual type thing. It can't be scouted, and I can tell you it gets better during the course of time. You can see that they all can shoot the ball and it's, it's, it's very hard to guard. 
Now one thing that would make it better is if Liz would start looking for a shot in that high post area. Because once she starts looking for the shot, the center of the defense needs to come up and that's going to open up the baseline person. Okay, they're, they're a little bit too perimeter oriented for me right now. They could become more post oriented if, that, if Liz will start looking for that intermediate shot right there. Okay?